you very much, Marco. Um, well, it's almost noon, so good afternoon. So we are Authentics. We are. Um, we took our company to a different place, to KYC and AML. So um, what can you do with AI? So we took AI to the pace of um, image processing, ID authentication, and KYC, to the point that you do recognition, contact extraction, uh, forensics, face matching, and then on top of it, different data sets to do custom onboarding. Um, where are we coming from? So we spun off from a big company that does airport security, as Marco Wright said. We understood that many years ago that um, it's not the most interesting market. Um, the historically technology is uh, knowledgeable with about 30 years old. Um, what we're good at is we're very good on forensic. We're very good on risk flag detection. We pivoted. Uh, with our product about twice in the last 10 years. So we are now a full cloud-based service. We are very good on uh, ID authentication. And we're actually, we're not 75. We need to update. We're already 80. And the base of the R&D is in Israel. So let's talk about ID authentication for, as well, for, as well, for forensic level authentication. So if you try to look what you have today, when you try to do custom onboarding, um, most of the players, or the majority of them, are in the place of data integrity and data screening. Where we take it is to the levels of forgery, counterfeiting, and red flagging. And we try to embed all these pieces together into one very strong product. What makes us different? So we are 100% automated. I mean, we do not use people in any form or matter. So we basically automate the full process for onboarding. Our process takes six to eight seconds um, on average. We're global. I mean, we have customers from New Zealand, Australia, Japan, Singapore, Africa, Israel, US, and Europe. Uh, we are very good on forensics. That's our core competence. We are able, because we're working in, uh, in a back-end service, we're able to deal with um, low-quality images and with data, data problems that basically gives you higher, better on conversion ratios. And we can give you basically actionable results. So if we detect a problem in the onboarding of the process, we're able to communicate it very fast, thus basically improving the conversion. Patent-wise, we have six granted, 16 pending, different products. Our customer base is growing. So we have about, now we have almost 80. Um, we target specific vectors, specific verticals. Each customer has a high potential growth. As I said, basically, that's a bit of our spread with our customer base. And some of our customers. Different use cases, different issues. Um, if you try to basically define the two reasons why customers come to us is one is AML and KYC. So when they need to do custom order in KYC, they come to us not because they like to do that, because they must do it by regulation. Uh, the second use case why customers are coming to us is because of risk. So if you try to look at uh, um, different customers, so for example, Airbnb uses ID authentication from risk point of view, not much from a compliance point of view. On the other side, um, Payoneer and PayPal and Google are doing um, ID authentication from compliance point of view, not from risk point of view. Regulatory compliance, we are uh, working in, the, in these di different sectors and we work, we comply with different regulations in this different, different countries. Um, we, it took us a while to pick up. We were, when we took this technology from airports, um, as I said, we pivoted about twice with the technology until we got it really good. We are self-funded. I mean, we never took in outside investment. So basically, we bootstrapped it. And we started collecting the revenue with the years. And I think what basically happened is in the last four or five years where online started to become a major play, we started growing with the market. Plus, it takes time to penetrate in our sector. If you want to penetrate um, big companies, it takes about a year. So the set is a bit slower. But once they plug in and once they start ramping up, um, it becomes very interesting. So. We've been profitable since uh, Q7 2017. 
Um, our contracts, we started at 12 months. Now we go to, on average, four to five years. Um, um, we price per usage. So if our customers are growing, we're growing with them. Um, this quarter looks very, very promising. It looks like we're gonna, if last year we tripled, this year we're gonna double. Um, last year we've done double digits in the million. This year we'll, again, double digits in the million again. Um, and where are we going next? So basically, we started with doing onboarding for ID authentication and uh, gatekeeping. Uh, the next level, which we're doing already, that we are going to launch next quarter, is now that we have this global network, um, basically processing tens of millions of IDs, uh, millions of them on a monthly basis, um, we start having the network effect. And basically what we're doing now, we're launching our first analytics tool, not just to do the authentication, but also to start giving different signals to our customers. If we've seen this identity before, where have we seen it? From a more behavioral point of view, less from a PI point of view, because we don't care about the PI, we do care about the behavior of our customers. So this is gonna happen this year. Actually, it's already happening. And um, I would say in the next two years, everybody's talking about federated identity. Identity is a service. So because of our sheer size of the volume, and by far, I think we're the number one player in this market, um, and we are trusted by different vendors, and we don't present a threat to them, we are starting to get requests from our customers to start thinking about, can we help them manage their identity because of the network effect, because we serve um, multiple companies in the same sector, so they have vested interest, and they would like to share information between themselves, but they need a trusted advisor to do that. So I think that's going to be our next uh, trajectory of growth. And uh, in that respect, the plan, as I said, I mean, like fully operational onboarding portfolio, full capabilities, uh, the propriety uh, screening, um, building the blockchain platform. And um, actually, we don't really have a lot of salespeople. We have only four. So it's about time we start scaling on our sales capabilities and also marketing, which basically doesn't exist. Um, that's it. I want to really thank you for your time and thank you, Marco, for the opportunity. <laughs>